Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please, just for a moment. I want to thank you for being with us today for this special announcement. I'm Drew Van Horn. It's my honor to be the president of Young Harris College. As you may know, at the completion of this last basketball season, uh, Matt Steersman resigned as our head women's basketball coach. We appreciate all that Coach Steersman did for our program, and we wish him well and much success. As president, I have had high expectations regarding the qualities and the persona that I wanted in our new coach. Once he is introduced to you, I believe that you will agree with me that our new coach has a reputation and record of success that will begin a new era in women's basketball at Young Harris College. I now recognize Randy Dunn, our Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, to introduce to you our new women's basketball coach. Randy. Thank you, Dr. Van Horn, and uh, thank each of you for coming this afternoon. Uh, we're here this evening to introduce our new head women's basketball coach. When we were faced uh, with looking for a new coach, there were several things Dr. Van Horn and I discussed about what we felt was important. Uh, one of these is we wanted someone that had several years of coaching experience. Uh, we wanted a proven winner. We wanted someone that had built a program at many levels. We wanted somebody that could recognize and recruit top quality student athletes and then be able to motivate the student athletes to achieve in the classroom and on the basketball court and had a burning passion and desire for the development of student athletes and teach the game of basketball and ultimately win. Uh, and it's with that, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Coach Jim Davis and his wife, Bobby Davis. Thank you. Greetings, uh, Dr. Van Horn and faculty and staff, students, mountain lions, and VIPs. It's great to be with you today, and we're looking forward to getting to work here at Young Harris College. I want to thank President Van Horn uh, and Athletic Director, Director of Athletics, uh, Randy Dunn for uh, the trust and confidence that they have uh, placed in me, allowing me to uh, the opportunity to teach slash coach the game that I really love uh, and to work with young people who are mountain lions and uh, hopefully future mountain lions to come. Uh, teaching is coaching and coaching is teaching. And we're going to do our very best to make that uh, the platform upon which we uh, work with these young ladies. I want to introduce my wife, Bobby. Stand up, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's been the head coach at our home for uh, almost 51 years. <laughs> you know, uh, I became the head coach at Clemson University in 1987. And we're from East Tennessee. Our families still live in East Tennessee. And we would come by Highway 76, right by Young Harris College, uh, numerous times. And uh, I made the comment to Bobby on several occasions, wouldn't it be nice to be able to coach here and live in this beautiful place? And. Uh, We, they didn't have a basketball program. And all of a sudden, we see this building coming out of the ground. And uh, the beautiful arena and rec center uh, where, they, uh, where we play our games. And uh, little did I know that those thoughts and dreams would become a reality today. Bobby and I were coming through uh, coming back fr uh, from East Tennessee, going back to Clemson on February the 28th. In the late, late afternoon, we stopped by Zaxby's in Blairsville. After eating, I recognized the Sprinkles who were there eating as well. After we finished, I went over and uh, 
reintroduced myself to them. And uh, I said, well, uh, is Young Harris still playing? Uh, did they make the playoffs? And they said, no, they did not. And they said, what are you doing now? And I said, well, I'm trying to get this retirement thing right. I flunked it three times. This is the fourth time. But uh, they said, we'll have a better year next year. And we were, walk after, we were walking back to the car, and I asked Bobby, I said, what would you think if Randy Dunn called us? And she said, uh, if the job were to come open, she said, that would be entirely up to you now. So it wasn't 10 minutes till Randy Dunn called and said that Coach Steersman had resigned and asked me if I would be interested in coaching at Young Harris or if I could give him some names. I said, well, let me call you back in the morning. I called him back in the morning and said, I'd like to talk to you about coaching at Young Harris. Now, do you think that was a God thing or what? It, it must be that we're supposed to be here. I also would like to introduce Coach Anna Claire Knight. Where is she? There she is back there. <laughs> Coach Knight is a, a high character young lady who is a tremendous role model for the young women here in our basketball program. She was a, the epitome of student athlete when she was at Georgia Southern University. And uh, she has so much that she can give to our program. She is the MVP of this coaching staff, I can tell you that right now. But we're glad to have her staying on and helping us out and she'll be even a greater asset to our basketball program. I want to ask the team to stand. I know, y'all can sit down now. Y'all don't deserve all that. No, I'm just kidding. You do. I want you to understand this is not about me. And it really is not about the names on the back of their jerseys. But it's about the name on the front of their jerseys. And it's about how much they care and how much they want that name on the front of the jersey to succeed. And that's what we're all about. That's what this is all about. You know, last year's record of nine wins and 20 losses is not good enough. You people deserve better. Our goal is to reverse those totals next season. Now, I see most of y'all in here are old enough to remember what a record looks like, you know, when you put it on the phonograph. These girls back here didn't know what a record was. <laughs> but our goal next year is to flip the record. 20 wins and nine losses. Now, a coach is absolutely stupid to be up here saying how many games he wants to win because there's a lot of factors that has to go into that. But our goal is to flip the record. And it's not gonna be easy. You know it's not gonna be easy. Uh, and I told the team just a few minutes ago, there's only two ways we can do that. Number one, we gotta recruit better players. And number two, we got to work our fannies off in player development, individual development, and these girls have to spend time on their own, being totally committed, and they have to become better players. That's the only way we're going to make it happen. And it's certainly not going to be easy. But, you know, our current players have to be able to commit uh, to being successful in the Peach Belt Conference. It's a tough conference. It's a tough league. It's a tough league. So we all have to step up. We've got to get better players, and we've got to turn these players into better players. Uh, we've got uh, 
two signees that'll be here and uh, we're excited about them everything I've heard about them uh, and then there's three commitments that we're uh, looking at that are, we're going to bring in and uh, we're going to try our very best to get two or three more recruits and uh, bring some players in that will immediately be able to compete and succeed in the Peach Belt Conference. We want to put a product on the floor that the Young Harris family can be proud of. And that's our goal. Thank you for being here today and for showing up wearing your purple and uh, for coming to all the Young Harris events, not just basketball, but we want you to be a part of all the Young Harris uh, athletic events. And uh, we need you now more than ever. We need you there cheering. We need you there encouraging these young ladies back here. They deserve a pat on the back. And uh, we, you are a very important part of our program as well. So uh, that's all I have. Go Mountain Lions. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. You can see the excitement that we have now. And uh, young ladies, I can tell you, haven't been a former basketball player, to be able to study and learn under someone of Coach Davis's quality and character, you will be impressed and you will be amazed at what he can do. I heard 20 and 9. Did you hear that too? Did you all hear that? Mm -hmm. You're at them. Jim Bobby, we're so glad you're part of the Mountain Lion family. We do have uh, refreshments in the back. Please take this as an opportunity to come and give a Mountain Lion we uh, welcome to some new members to us here. And we're so excited and look forward to great, great things in this new era of women's basketball at Young Harris. Thank you for being here today. Right here. 